mighty God. Jibrato soto balaka pratishu. Alleluia. Alleluia. Every time God calls a people, there is always a message. There is always a vision. Hallelujah. The mission of this ministry is what we call koinonia. Koinonia is not the name of a meeting. It is what you get when you come here. It's the identity that God has given us. His presence. What is this about this mighty presence? Mighty God. When you come, you will know that He's in the midst of His people. No matter how stubborn you are, there is an atmosphere. When you step in, He will break your pride. You will know God is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
that is none to be compared. in the spirit God is here you came for him this is part of the meeting this is how we do it here go ahead and sing in the spirit of the living God we thank you My 
majesty, mighty, great. Hallelujah. Do you know that God is in the midst of his people? This is called koinonia. An encounter with an ability that is beyond the realm of men. No matter how hardened you are. I hail you. I worship you. I truly hail you. Most high. I hail of God is that one factor that must be present in any meeting for people to be changed. Pastor Jakes powerfully shared here that it's not enough to be instructed in righteousness. There must be an ability to receive it. He said the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. The spirit entered until it enters, you will be pretending it. The spirit entered. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just take two or three minutes to pray in tongues before we sit down. somebody by your left and right and sit down if you can.
we call this koinonia simply koinonia the place of his presence God is in the midst of for ye are come unto Mount Zion that mount where there are innumerable companies of angels the spirits of just men made perfect to the church of the firstborn where he has chosen to leave us with a charisma of his presence Adonai Lamb of God truly you are worthy worthy of my praise King of kings Lord of lords Tonight, let your kingdom reign in our hearts. Adonai, 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 yeah. Worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, you're the Lord of lords. Let your kingdom reign in the heart. Adonai. Adonai. It's not a special number. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. This is our prayer. When his kingdom comes in your life, you will never be the same. Let his kingdom come upon that sick body. Let your kingdom come. First Thessalonians There are angels moving around, just bringing impartations in people as we do. Mighty impartations of fire. This is what I see happening in the spirit. Your presence. Hallelujah. See, listen. No matter what you have, if you do not have his presence, you have nothing. I don't care what you have. That ultimate secret is his presence. You can fake power. You can fake anointing. But you cannot fake the presence of the mighty one. Like him is 
the lion and the lamb. He's seated on the throne. See, this is not a special number. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roam. To the Lord of Lords. Just listen to me. I'm ministering to your spirit. Who is this God? He's the Lion and the Lamb. Seated on the throne. The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in His presence. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. That is the one we serve. Mighty. Great and mighty, full of majesty, and he brought you here to change your life. He brought you to do something in your life that no power in existence can stop. It is within his ability to create the change. Hallelujah. Listen, many of you do not know. See. This is the ninth month and God is birthing a lot of things. It was in this month I began to talk about the miracle service from the first week. For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. All of the teachings that we have been building upon, sharing the secrets of the kingdom to prepare us for the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. Shut up. I'm calling you higher, say at the Spirit of God. I'm calling you climb up that mountain, say at the Spirit of God. Climb up that mountain where your eyes will see clearer. Climb up that mountain. Climb up that mountain. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit, said the Lord. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. There is a path that no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Majesty is his presence. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians two, verse eight. Thessalonians 2.
18, I'm sorry, not 8. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. Wherefore, I would have come to you. It is my desire for you to experience my presence. He said, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that blessing would have come to you. Wherefore, that healing, that breakthrough would have come to you. He said, I desire, but Satan hindered us. Tonight is a prayer meeting. We will pray. Wherefore, I would have brought the breakthrough for the family. Wherefore, I would have opened you up to certain realms of grace and power. He said, but Satan, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that genotype would have changed by now. Wherefore, that act of witchcraft and divination over families and territories would have been addressed. He said, but Satan hindered us. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is hidden in laws and mysteries. And all through scriptures, you will find the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories, experiences, parables. They are a revelation of the patterns, the workings of the kingdom. It takes illumination. It's called the spirit of revelation. And then your eyes are open to see beyond the story. And then you begin to see the construction, the build up, the character, and the operation of the kingdom. And when you understand it, you have those keys. Then you will command power in this territory. And this is what we seek to transfer. An understanding of the operation of the kingdom. Week after week, this is our project. To unveil unto you the secrets of the kingdom. Because when you find it, then you will be able to operate in mastery. In the last one or two months, we have been unveiling a lot of things. Opening you up to the spiritual dimension of life. All of the teachings have been a build up upon one and another. To open you up to the spiritual dimension the bible says they know not neither do they understand they grope in darkness confusion and as a result the earth is out of course have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes and the remedy is an unveiling this is why we value the presence of the Holy Spirit so much. The body of Christ knows a lot. They know a lot of Bible stories. But insight into the truth to understand the operation of the kingdom is what is deficient. It says, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from out of thy heart. Keep them in the midst of the heart. He said they are life to those who find them. Health to their flesh. It will take your understanding of spiritual things. It is understanding that will reduce Satan to become nothing in your life. Hallelujah. Wherefore we would have come to you. So there are many things that desire to come into your life. Breakthrough. Blessings. Increase. He said, but what happened? Satan hindered us. Satan hindered us. 
hindered the blessing, hindered the lifting, hindered your insight, access into the deep things of the spirit. But Satan hindered us. Hallelujah. And tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. We have come to open up the two lead gates that you will step into certain things that have aforetime been given. Please take note of what is happening tonight. There are healings already happening. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying. This night we will be confronting the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tonight we will pursue. We will overtake. And we will recover all. Many people have taught all kinds of junk messages. Look at me. Wickedness is real. Don't let anybody fool you with any sugar-coated message. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. Why do you need the power of the Holy Ghost? Because there are giants on every mountain. And the Bible says how awe-inspiring are your ways. It said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves Psalm 66 verse 3 wherefore by now you would have been lifted by now your family would have risen to a level you would have stepped into another dimension but Satan hindered us wherefore you would have been walking in mighty levels of grace by now your destiny help us have desired to come to you but satan hindered them wherefore your life partner would have come into your life you would have been happily married with dignity and honor but satan hindered them wherefore that job that opening but satan This is Paul the Apostle speaking. I desire to come to you. I know the things I carry. And I know that if I meet you, you will never be the same. So Satan hindered us. Wherefore, you would have been coming to, for Koinonia years ago. But Satan hindered you. Wherefore, your loved ones would have been here tonight. With all your efforts to bring them. But Satan hindered them. I need you to know. That Satan is determined. To frustrate your Christian experience. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Satan is determined. He will use every spiritual arsenal. Within his control. To see that he frustrates your spiritual life. Therefore it will take understanding of the operations of the kingdom to triumph over him he said unto thee O lord do i lift up my soul oh my god he said i trust in you let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph over me he's changing everything in obedience to christ tonight He's restoring everything in obedience to Christ. Satan has hindered a lot of people. Listen, we have been explaining these things right from the teaching. Give me this mountain. That every time you arrive at that mountain, there are giants. Hear me? There are forces of darkness stationed across the earth. To ensure that men do not rise. Zechariah chapter 1. This is a month of breakthrough. Something must happen in your life. I know that somebody believes this word. There are many who will sit down there and keep being cynical and watch others testify. Said they heard the word like we did but the word did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Zechariah 1 from verse 17 down. Okay. Cry yet saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, My city's true prosperity shall be spread abroad. 
and the Lord shall yet comfort Zion. The moment he, he speaks about breakthrough, what happens? Next verse. Can you give us from Amplified? Is it possible? Please, Amplified. Then I lifted up my eyes and behold, four horns. Immediately he told the prophet, this is your prophetic destiny. This is what should happen to you. He said, now lift up your eyes and see what has been hindering you. He said, I lifted up my eyes and I beheld four horns. Amplified says, symbols of strength. Next verse. And I said unto the angel who talked with me, what are these? I've not been taught in church that there are horns that can lift people. They have deceived me that you just confess and enter your destiny. This is strange. I've not been taught. What are these? Many of, of you have been deceived that all it takes is just to laugh and you just jump in and enter your destiny. All it takes is to just pack five naira and put an envelope and come and drop it. Or that they pour a little dot of oil. Let me tell you the truth. There is more to the operation of the kingdom than this. He said, what are these? It is strange. I've not been taught. I've no, I wasn't given this insight that after a promise, there is a contention in the spirit to bring its deliverance. Most people just stop in verse 17. He said, now that I've told you your prophetic destiny, lift your eyes, let's tackle the resistance. What is this that you see? If it's raining, let them come in. Please come in. Sit anywhere. On the ground, on the altar, anywhere. Just find a place and sit down. Tonight is a serious meeting and we're going to pray. Listen. And he answered me. He said, these are what? The four horns of powers which have scattered Judas. Rob men of their praise. Rob men of their testimony. Judah means praise. Praise is an effect of a testimony. The well-doing of the Lord. Please come in. Come in everybody, sit down anywhere. Come and sit here. Wherever you can find, just sit down. There are spaces all around. Ushers, please help them. I need everybody's attention. Are you following me now? He said they have scattered what? Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Tonight we will pray. Oh, that devil that is holding your destiny. See, no matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake. Is that true? No matter how mad he is, he can do stupid things and they say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, the Bible says he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Look up. Every promise in the Bible requires contentions in the spirit for you to actualize it. He said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been released to you. There are more seats. Stand anywhere. No devil will stop you this night. So let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your home. Sing it one more time. Yeah. Let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Please follow me tonight. It says, Then the Lord showed me what? Four smiths or workmen. One for each enemy of the horn. He showed me four carpenters. He said, now I've shown you the horn. There are certain people I am going to send to you. He calls them carpenters. This is your promise. This is your destiny. Between you and your destiny, there are four horns. And the job of those horns is to scatter your life, scatter your finances, scatter your anointing, scatter your prayer life. He said, but I sent four carpenters. 
one for each horn. He said to beat it down. 21. Then said I, what are these horns or smith? So Satan sends his horn. See, let me tell you something. Go to verse 19. He said, these are four horns and four powers. Their job is to wreck your destiny. Are you listening to me? They are, they are patient. These are spirit entities scattered around the face of the earth. And every time they see anything that looks like growth and progress in your family, they are the ones, they watch to see when your sister gets pregnant. Their job is to scatter. He said to scatter Judah. Judah is the place of praise. Israel is the place of promise. 21. Then said I, what are these horns coming to do? He says, and he said, these are the horns or powers that scattered Judah so that what? No man will lift his head. There are forces. Hear me, Koinonia. There are forces of darkness positioned by the powers of darkness. He said, wherefore, I desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us. So that no man will lift up his head. They are scattered around our villages. They are scattered around ministries. So that certain ministries cannot lift up their heads. So that certain destinies cannot lift up their heads. That's the job. Every time anyone in your family is about to rise, they contend in your academics, in your finance. The moment you begin to pray, after one week your prayer life dies. The horns. The moment you have faith and say, Lord, I trust you. After three days, something pushes you down. Are you following me now? You enter a relationship. Two weeks, something just happens and scatters everything. Who are these? He said, these are four horns. They have been stationed. And every time they see you lifting your head, their job is to bring you down. It's in your Bible. It says, so that no man will lift up his head. Many ministries do not know the powers of darkness that try to tie them down. Are you listening to me? The moment a ministry starts blossoming, the men of God are carried away with money and prosperity and increase and ministrations. They forget that there are four horns. Let the Lord just declare a prophecy over your life and you will see these horns rise. The moment they declared this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased all hell broke loose he said i desire to give you prosperity i desire to give you increase but there are four homes there are four homes there are many families represented here what you are seeing in your dreams and visions and what is happening in your life is different between that dream and the manifestation are four horns they are gates are you following me tonight i came to preach my heart because we are going to pray four horns you go you go and apply for a job they are ready to respond to you three days later something comes up without any explanation see hear me believers if you don't take charge of your destiny and apply the keys of the kingdom you may remain forever and you will not lift up your hands thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting, thank you for lifting. my head Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. There are many ministers who struggle and struggle. They preach, they suffer, they go and do a lot of publicity. People come and get healed and go. They don't, these are four horns. 
the moment they pay your father's salary, everybody in the family starts becoming mysteriously sick without explanation until that one night I finish. You marry a man who was loving and caring, suddenly he becomes a Dracula for all. Tonight, we have come under an apostolic and prophetic atmosphere to confront the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Let me tell you, Satan can bow. Are you hearing me? Satan can bow. You must get angry in your spirit. Don't just sit down watching others. Forget about what is happening and concentrate. There's no space. Sit around. Find somewhere and sit. Tonight, when it's time to pray, I don't want to see you looking at me. Pack your wig. Pack your wivon. Keep it one side. We are going to pray this night. Hallelujah. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to what? There are men that have been anointed to terrorize this horn. Are you saying that word? He said, see, he said, but these smiths, these carpenters have come to terrorize the horn. He didn't say, it's not just to defeat them, to terrorize them. There are people Satan is afraid of. See, Pastor Jakes made a statement. Look at me. Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. There is this error in the body. There are two errors. One is the error of saying, see, everybody, I have the same access to God. Are you hearing me? I have the same access to God. There is nothing there. No man of God is special and this. Or the one that men of God make themselves semi-gods. Both are wrong. But let me tell you something clearly this night. Not every human being is a human being. The anointing has changed some people. The Bible says there are many bodies. Some are terrestrial. Some are celestial. They may look like you. The ability to recognize that difference is what will take you out of certain things. Are you hearing me? We are equal in Christ, but we are not equal in call and office and anointing. You must realize this. The Bible says there are some people that have been anointed to terrorize them and cause them to be panic stricken. Look at the horns that are terrorizing others. But the Bible says God calls some people and says, You, I just call you, come and become a terrorist. It's an election of grace. It's in your Bible. This is not error. It's not because they pray more. It is an office. It's an office to terrorize the works of darkness see let me tell you this night whatever power hear me i'm speaking under the unction of the lord whatever power that is responsible for holding any area of your life except god is not the god of heaven it must give up on you this night i said it must give up on you this night i don't care I speak under a prophetic and apostolic unction as one of these privileged carpenters. If I be sent of God, I speak to you. Every horn that is responsible for terrorizing your life, it will bow this night. He said, but I have sent carpenters. They are around scattered over the earth the only problem is that we have not trained our spirits to recognize them jesus went to certain cities they saw him until he ascended to heaven and they said is this the man that has been among us see let me tell you one of the greatest revelation you have in this life is that some people have been called are you hearing what i'm saying is called an election of grace. I didn't call myself. See, let me tell you something. 
when the Lord showed me the vision for ministry, hear me. I was standing in a tower and I saw an endless sea of people. Very oppressed people. Messed up by Satan. It was a whole generation of people. And I saw them crying. And while they came close, I was hearing the sounds of their cry. And they were blaming me in the vision. And I said, what is wrong? And they said, there is no food and no water. Suddenly, it occurred to me that I was holding in my hands the keys to the storehouse that will feed that generation. This is a vision I had. Listen to me, please. Hallelujah. And when that happened, I told them, who is the cause? Who is the reason why you are the way you are? And they said, you are the one. Suddenly, compassion fell on me. And I said, I'm going to come out right now. I, I got to that tower. I was trying to hide from somebody. That was when I looked through the mirror and I saw that thing. It was fear and timidity that made me to run like Gideon to go and hide in the vision. But the people were telling me, that we are dying here and you are the one who is holding the keys to the storehouse they said no food and no water these two things hallelujah and i was determined that i was going to go out the moment i opened the door because i was afraid that i was alone when i opened the door there was a giant person that stood and he said hold my hands we will go together He's called the Holy Spirit. This is the whole idea behind the things we do with the Holy Spirit. People have criticized that we are emphasizing the... See, let me tell you, every great vision comes under fire and criticism because people do not understand. The Bible says they know not. I'm taking time to explain to you. This call, there are people who have been called as carpenters. You may die in a place without recognizing because you see everybody and you think they are celestial or they are terrestrial there are some people that certain graces have elected them hallelujah in one other vision i was in a whole city and i found out that all the hospitals and the clinics were closed and i was crying because there were people that were sick I said, what is all this? What is going on here? And I had a voice. He said, go and heal them. That was the end. So when people hear that HIV positive is changing to negative, or when people hear that genotypes are changing, rather than finding out, they keep criticizing and castigating. We don't announce any miracle here without verification. He said... But these smiths or these workmen have been sent to terrorize these homes. That's why their lives are not normal. They are not normal human beings. They don't live like normal human beings. Hallelujah. Many of you do not know the burden of carrying a prophetic agenda for a generation. It will change you. I don't have a social life. I have lost many things that many people have. You do not know what it means to come under the influence of a divine mandate. I see a lot of people jumping and smiling. I'm apostle, I'm prophet. I want to open ministry and I say, oh dear. Day and night you are under fire of all sorts. But he that endures to the end. Hallelujah. He said to cast out the horns or powers of the nations who have lifted their horn against the land of Judah to scatter it. There are horns, brothers and sisters, that are responsible for the way your father behaves, for the way your mother behaves, for the way your loved ones behave. You have tried counseling. You have tried psychology it didn't work they are called horns but the bible says my head has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and you have anointed me with fresh oil 
Hallelujah. Let's look at one more scripture. First Corinthians six verse nine. Shila bakata prato soto balakata. Are you there? What did I say? 16, I'm sorry. 16, verse 9. Let's read together. It's projected. One, two, read. One, two, read it again. For a great door and effectual is opened up to me. And there are many, a great door is open. The door of marriage has been opened. The door of healing has been opened. He said, but there are how many? But the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. He said, no man can shut it. And there are carpenters that have been sent to enforce that thing. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. We are not the only carpenters. You are here because you are one of those carpenters too. This is our mission. Our mission is not to become great men of God, but to make you a terrorist in the kingdom of darkness. See, it is not everyone, hear me, that is afraid of Satan. Are you hearing me? It's not everyone that is afraid of death. It's not everyone that is afraid of sickness. Some people have seen how cheap Satan is and he's aware. Hallelujah. That knowledge comes through an understanding of the operation of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. There are many people who do not know. Listen, I want to tell you something. If you do not know the laws that govern the kingdom, it can be costly. Are you hearing me? Longevity is not a mistake. Longevity is not a product of going to church. There are kingdom principles that bring forth longevity. Divine health is not a mistake. Divine health is not a product of the anointing. Divine health is from the body of Jesus. Are you hearing me? anointing comes to get away the demon spirits that are responsible for bringing that he said by his stripes he didn't say by the oil we have misapplied a lot of spiritual laws authority against witches and wizards is not the issue of uh -uh. there are kingdom principles and this is what we seek to share Greatness does not happen by magic. Many of you are asking, why is the devil disturbing me? Are you still asking that question? When Satan followed Jesus to the wilderness, was patient for one month and ten days until Jesus finished fasting. What makes you think that the devil will just look at you and say, oh, I understand you are anointed. But it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to look at the devil eyeball to eyeball and say I am one of those carpenters <laughs> hallelujah there are some of you who don't sleep when you close your eyes you are oppressed I was one of those people the Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field tonight we have come to call the devil a liar I've come to speak to you that there is an authority. There are seven things that redemption brings unto men. All of them must be at work in your life. The Bible says, Worthy is the Lamb to receive blessings, riches, honor. These are all the things He has received and He has given you. Seven. And it must be at work in your life. Hallelujah. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that have stood against little children? Who are these horns? You are aware of the testimony of the man who came here and who was healed, I think during one of the services or thereabout. He was sleeping in the night. Somebody 
appeared to him in a dream. Remember the story? With big syringe, injected this man with HIV virus and he woke up physically with the virus. That devil is a liar. Come on now. Years ago, I used to pray for barren people and they were not healed. They didn't give birth. It disturbed me. And I went back. I said, Lord, what, what is it? Then the Lord told me, barrenness is not sickness. It's an oppression. It doesn't require healing. There is a spirit. The spirits come and they create what we call fibroid. Fibroid is the baby of these spirits in the womb of people. That's why women have miscarriages in the night. Why don't they have miscarriages in the daytime? But you are carpenters. See, I look forward to testimonies. Where will he, somebody will say, Ah, I healed the sick and I raised the dead. Not Pastor Jakes did this. Uh -uh. You be the carpenters. You are not falling down for nothing. You are not falling down to prove we are anointed. God is in a serious business of working on you. Say I'm one of the carpenters. Say it, I'm one of the carpenters. Yes, financial carpenters. Apostolic carpenters. One of my life's goal is to break the back of poverty in the church. It's one of it. I hate the effect of poverty on many families. More ladies have entered prostitution. They didn't come to meet you. How much do you have? Many people have been messed up. There are some of you now. You want to marry. But you cannot get married. Because of the finance. And some of you are hoping that one day. I will get a job of 10,000 and then I will get married. Calculate it by your do you to judge. But when those that God has sent to bless you, they can come in one day. He said your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this? You are going to get angry this night. This night we are going to pray. I'm just sharing with you scriptures. The Bible says Daniel in chapter 10. Remember how that Daniel was praying and fasting. Wanting to get an understanding. And the Bible says the moment is there from the very first day. Daniel 10. You start reading from verse 5 down to 11 verse 1. When he was coming, the Bible says the prince of Persia withstood the angel 20 and one day. The prince of Persia withstood him. Hallelujah. The prince of Persia withstood him. Until he kept praying. The moment that embargo was lifted, the angel said, now I am come to give the understanding. One of the chief princes came to hell. Tonight there is divine backing of the angelic. As we pray, there will be things happening in the realm of the spirit. Yokes of darkness that will be broken. This is pre-miracle service. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain. To break every chain. That's what God will do tonight. To break every chain. To break every chain. To break every chain. Sing it one more time. 
There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. I've said it here. Before we start Koinonia, listen, I realize that there is a secret to increase and growth. And I knew that there were powers over territory that kept ministries down. I've shared this again. From the roundabout of Chicken Republic, I started walking there till aviation, commanding the forces to bow. Commanding principalities and power. And then the city opens up. Before I go for a ministration in any city, I speak to the principalities. They know my voice. See, let me teach you something. There are principalities. There are powers. There are rulers. There are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. These are different strata of, of darkness. But the Bible says you have been exalted above thrones dominions and every name that is named both in this realm this world and in the world to come so you command them to bow hallelujah as our prayer department begins to pray they speak over the week and an open heavens and you are there in your house you don't even know what carries you from your house you are still complaining and insulting us yet you are coming because the heavens are open There's an army rising up. You are that prophetic army. There's an army rising up. I tell you, you are that army. There's an army rising up. Tonight, every one of you is going to represent not just yourself, but even your families. Hear me? Your families have been praying for a savior. Say, we can't die like this. And God said, come for koinonia. You, you, let God find a carpenter. Hallelujah. I just came, today I just came, I've been at home. I needed to go and visit the house. As soon as I stepped in, in the night, that night as I slept, in a dream, the Lord showed me everything that was wrong. And I got up the next day while they were sleeping. Hallelujah. I got anointing oil, poured it inside water, and carried the bucket. I took my bare foot and I was walking around. And I was commanding the forces in that territory to bow. I said, an ambassador is in town. This is what we are teaching you. Hallelujah. An ambassador is in town. I went and looked at my mother's poultry. I said, I command increase. See, if you know the office that you stand in in Christ, you will not take it for granted. The Bible says, as I hear you say before my ears, so will I do realize you are not ordinary you are not the one looking for help and if there is any need for help we will grant you the help here by the grace of God and empower you to go back when you see things that are not working rejoice because you are here you carry the backing of heaven your job is to legislate your job is to legislate the Bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An ambassador. You must realize this. So that you don't just stand at home or in your offices. Everything that is going wrong, start blaming yourself. 
and say now everybody's lamenting if there is nobody i am an ambassador say it i'm an ambassador you're an ambassador this is why god is bringing you and you are going to pray as you pray first for yourself and then through the fire of the holy ghost you will dislodge powers over your life and then you will see testimonies rolling in suddenly you will find out that certain insights you have been struggling to get suddenly there is an open heaven your ministry or your fellowship takes another level as if satan does not exist hallelujah nobody ever came to jesus christ hear me after he went 40 days and 40 nights satan came to withstand him because jesus wanted to come to the people like paul but satan withstood him when he defeated satan suddenly on the mountain people started coming along the water side people said, what happened powers were dislodged this night hear me you are not praying for healing you are confronting the gates of darkness rise up on your feet everybody rise up on your feet listen 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 i want you to know that heaven is backing you tonight are you hearing what i'm saying say heaven is backing me say it, heaven is backing me because we are going to pray now and by the power of the holy spirit i tell you there will be an eruption of testimonies after this night's meeting you will know that the things that have been happening around your life and your family they are not as ordinary as they look you are the holy ghost holy ghost holy ghost you are the holy ghost take your place number one hallelujah you're going to pray and say in the name of jesus i confront gates that are stopping the finances the finances grace that are making your family members not to be tighters grace that are making them not to be givers lift your voice Financial days. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please hold on. This prayer must be serious this night. Please let's have two of our school of ministry students, two prayer band. Benga, come. Kenny, come. Go on one of the mic. Our school of ministry students, where are you? Are you not? Tolu, come. Quickly, two, three. Well, you, it's okay. You push, go and share the mic. Stand behind. When I say pray, if you are not praying, you will go back to your seat. You are not out for jamboree. We are going to pray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Four horns. There are four prayer points we have. The Bible says they were sent to one. This finance thing, you are going to pray it. Lift your voice and pray. Let's go, 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 let's go
The Bible says there is no man, hear me, that will enter into a man's life and, and spoil the good except he first finds the strong man. He said, and I will give you the keys of it. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of us will be surprised what will happen this night. Prayer point number two. You are going to declare and say, Satan, the Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, right now, I command those forces, bow. Lift your voice and pray. Bow. Bow. Principalities, bow. Yeah. Wow. 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 Wow
Listen. Are you still praying? The Bible says, when you catch a thief, listen please, when a thief steals your property and you catch that thief, he won't bring back what he stole. He said he will restore sevenfold. This is what the Bible says. Sevenfold. You are going to pray. See, listen. The Lord is showing me in I'm in a vision right now. And the Lord is showing me angels holding baskets. Hear me? But the baskets are empty. Listen. Please follow me. There is a prophetic atmosphere here. There are empty baskets. And I'm wondering, and the Lord is ministering to me. He's saying this basket will be full of the blessings that are due God's people. See? Hear me. He said, and I will restore. Hear me. Canker worms can eat years of people's life. So you are growing older, but nothing is happening. But this night, hey, I don't know about you, but I came to Koinonia. I'm placing a demand. Everything you know, Satan took. I like you to call it back and say restore. Yes, I am. 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 I am.
something Rest to me. We are still praying on the third point. Rest the Lord said Rest we should call back opportunities Rest that were either missed or wasted. Rest are you hearing me? There are some of you, some circles came into your life. Rest either by carelessness it passed. Let me tell you, Rest it's only in this realm that you count time. In the realm of the spirit, you can call time back. Hear me? I don't care what opportunity you missed. Rest on. Whether it was an opportunity for marriage, Rest on. for job, Rest right on. now, I want you to call back Rest that on. opportunity. It he will come back. Yes. powerless Satan is until you engage in prayer. Satan will keep opening his eyes until you pray. When you pray, the devil will shrink and you will see how powerless he is. Hallelujah. Now, one last prayer point. We'll add one more. You are going to confront the gates over your family. See, don't let anybody fool you that there are no gates let me tell you something some of you are the last card that god has to use over your family if you don't do anything about it don't think god brought you here just to waste your time listen see me listen listen if you truly love your family members 
Effectual prayer is not just by shouting. It is the seriousness. Put your heart in this prayer. Many of you, as you pray, you will begin to see vision. See, hear me. Listen. Let me tell you something. Listen. Listen. I, see, we don't kill people in this place. But let me tell you, God is a God of mercy, but he's a God of judgment. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are certain horns. We don't care who these horns are. Unfortunately, sometimes, as this power is taking some human beings become victims, we don't kill people. But whatever it will take for the glory of your family to rise, you will pray it is not. Lift your voice. And that night, Jacob wrestled with this. He said, I will not let you go. And the Bible says, when he touched his thigh, he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob, which means a cheat and a supplanter. He said, you are called Israel. For as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. And the Bible says, hear me. He says, and the sun rose. And he called that place Peniel. 
Hallelujah. I've told you as much, hear me. I've told you as much as possible. Please invite your loved ones for the miracle service. You don't hear me talk like this. We are only responding to the things that the Holy Spirit, if they refuse, no problem. For God will do a work in this place. Hallelujah. We'll take one more prayer point. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for this ministry. Hear me. I'm like a pregnant woman right now. Because I know when we step into seasons. God has his way. In the last three to four months. That's why you find out that you don't find me outside. I have been praying and preparing. Birthing new and mighty things in the spirit. We are stepping into a dimension. See for when you are faithful with what God gives you. He said he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to the ankle. And when he saw that you were faithful, he measured a thousand cubits. Many of you are already sensing that there are newer levels of grace. You can see that the unction upon the house is not what it used to be. This is ushering season. For when God wants to bless you, he will first increase the anointing, then enlarge your sphere of influence. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all the dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made. Hallelujah. If you love this ministry, I'd like you in the next few minutes to pray your life out. Listen. You are going to pray for the ministers. See the way ministers are falling around like leaves. Immorality. All kinds of things. I've said it. Any man can fall from any height. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And if you love us, pray for us. Pray for us. We are going to pray for this ministry. We are going to say, Lord, let a dimension of grace. Hear me. Hear the prayer point. And fire spread from this place and around this nation god is already doing great things through our teachings i cannot describe to you what is happening around the media can tell you best the mighty and terrible things that god is doing some of you have gone back and you have become mighty agents of change even you you are surprised at yourself this is what we are training you to become and hear me when you are praying for the ministry you are praying for yourself the ministry is not Joshua Selman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You're going to say, Lord, together as a family, nobody will rise and leave another. Are you hearing me? There will not be a few men of God rising, growing in grace. Hear me? There are certain things God has given us as a ministry. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The love of God. God has given us influence. God has given us prosperity. We are going to pray that the strongholds that attempt to raise their heads, listen, there will never come a time where we will not have testimonies here. The vision must speak. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You are going to command and say every force that will want to stop the vision from speaking, it will speak in your own life. It will speak if truly God has called us, something should come upon your life that you will become epistles of the vision. Lift your voice and pray for ear. <laughs> Come on, pray. Pray, my 
Our school of ministry, God is raising mighty, mighty men of power in all spheres, not just ministry. You're going to pray for our students, you're going to pray for the missions. Hallelujah! You're going to pray for Koinonia, you're going to pray for all of the things that we are doing. You're going to say, Lord, not one sick body will come and not be healed not one oppressed person you are going to pray for grace to stand criticism grace to stand persecution grace to remain faithful grace to remain faithful grace to remain humble I want to do something prophetic this night. Hallelujah. One of the things God has given us is the spirit of dominion. You know what dominion is? Dominion means to legislate the counsel of God in any sphere, Satan notwithstanding. And among the many things that will happen to you tonight, I'm going to pray for you that everything we stand for your life must represent it see if you do not represent what we stand for we are fake it means we are lying it means we are faking power somewhere if we are healing the sick you should heal the sick you must not be in ministry if we are humble and you are arrogant there is something wrong with the transference of spirits hallelujah I want to pray for you I 
I want you to believe, my brothers. Believe. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please be careful with the fans. Father, you didn't send us to waste people's time. You didn't send us to be noisemakers. My God, I am praying this night. Every power, every force against any area of your life, this night, if I be sent as a servant of God, if God has ordained us as one of these carpenters, I pray right now, those powers bow. 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 Every power hindering your marriage in this place, hear me, or the marriage of your loved ones, this night, I release you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything stopping your breakthrough. Breakthrough. As surely as the God of heaven lives. Between this night and next Friday, I command unbelievable breakthrough. Amen. Receive it. Receive it. I invoke it from the heavens with the backing of Elohim. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. Every close heaven in this place, whether it's as a result of non tithing or mistakes or whatever i don't care what is responsible every heaven that is closed in this place right now this night i pray let the heavens be open over you let the heavens be open over you let the heavens be open over you Hallelujah. This month, there are three things I'm speaking into your life now. Listen. Number one is authentic unction. Listen. Number two is favor that you cannot imagine. Listen. Number three is honor. Receive these three fold blessings. Receive it. Power, power to heal the sick, power to cast out devils. Hear me, in the name that is above all names, whatever bows to us here, let it bow to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever answers to us, let it answer to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your family. Hear me, enough is enough this night. Lift your hands. Super. Super. Your families will never believe you or the God you serve until there is an evidence. I pray, my God that evidence of breakthrough that will compel families to know that you are at work let there be a release now let there be a release now let the angel of the Lord go across every state every city I instruct it every city Saria, Abuja, Lagos, Calabar Kogiste, Jos 
angels in the name of Jesus go and confirm breakthroughs go and confirm breakthroughs go and confirm breakthroughs give testimonies 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 so that they will know that your God is alive hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is instructing me to do something dangerous please take off your shoes and stand on your feet this is not diabolic please don't go and start criticizing us and talking nonsense Listen, something will come upon your life this night. Please listen, listen. I don't do stupid things just because people are doing I don't have money. The Bible says, hear me. It says, anywhere the sole of your feet treads upon, it has been given to you. I want to pray, hear me. Many of you do not know the mystery of what is happening. But I want you to believe. You will be amazed. Because I see an angel of the Lord, pure red from head to toe. Never seen, listen, I've never seen this angel of the Lord. And this is what he was telling me. That there is an impartation and a transference. Hear me. The influence we enjoy as a ministry is not a mistake. Are you hearing me? God has honored us and taken us to where we cannot merit. I want it to come upon your life this night. Lift your hands. Many of you will receive mighty impartations. Hear me. You will see things answering. See, your Christianity will have results. Father, I stand as your servant tonight under the instruction that you have given me my god there is a spirit upon this ministry an operation of the holy ghost the operation of dominion and inexplainable influence at the count of three my god let every feet upon this ground receive that anointing and demonstrate it practically Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Receive it. Take 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 it. Receive it. The spirit of dominion. The action of kingdom influence. Let the ground open up for you. Let the ground open up for you. Let the earth answer to you. Hallelujah. One more prayer. God has given us inexplainable kingdom wealth and prosperity. Please lift your hands. You need it. I honestly want to pray from my heart that your financial heavens will be open in a way and I'm going to pray my God and my King I pray in the name that is above all names you have called and you have sent me Lord 
if I be your servant at the count of three let an unction of inexplainable wealth let it come upon your people at the count of three one two three take it take it take it take it a mantle of prosperity a mantle of wealth a mantle of finance do, do mighty things for the kingdom to feed the hungry to clothe the poor to wipe the tears from your family let this anointing bring you ideas let it bring you opportunities hallelujah please move back your shoes Thank you, Jesus. Give him thanks. Yes. I see a mighty open heavens. Mighty, mighty open heavens. Jesus, we give you thanks. Jesus, we give you thanks. You have not called the seed of Jacob to seek you again. Give him thanks. I assure you, as surely as the Lord lives, your testimonies begin right now. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is sick in your body, whether blood disease, fibroid, lump in your breast, in the name that is above all names we change genotypes now ss be changed to aa now as be changed to aa now migraine headaches go in the name of jesus demonic manifestations go now in the name of jesus lump in the breast disappear now appendicitis go now every kind of infirmity if it has a name i command it to bow now you will return with testimonies hiv be healed now every dead virus every virus that brings death in your body I curse it, it dies now. Hepatitis A, B, and C go forever now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hear me. I want to give some people an opportunity right now. To make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ the number one vision that we have please keep standing don't sit down yet please please I know you've tried we need to make this great call the Bible says and they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heavens and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore I want to give you an opportunity right now there are many of you some of you are coming for the first time some of you have been coming but you have never made a genuine decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, it all starts with a decision to come back home. We do not condemn you. It doesn't matter what you have done. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord, but you have found yourself derailing in a path that is not of God. Right now, it's our joy to welcome you home and for you to start an authentic Christian journey. 
that will produce results god desires to make you an ambassador some of you your coming out is going to begin to be the beginning of salvation in your family right now while everybody is standing i want you to leave your seat and begin to come right now those who need to rededicate their hearts and those who are giving their lives don't wait for anybody to come you are the first to come god bless you god bless you thank you come and stand god bless you young old come and stand don't be emotional about it this is a very serious decision god bless you come from everywhere outside inside please don't let the devil take advantage of your life don't let the devil take advantage of your life god is giving you an opportunity to make a lasting decision leave your seat don't allow your friend or your family member come and stop you thank you jesus if you are still coming keep coming keep coming keep coming keep coming don't let the devil tell you it's too late keep coming keep coming tonight is the night for an authentic decision tonight is the night for an authentic decision don't be afraid of anybody don't be ashamed of anybody hallelujah the bible says as many who come to him he will in no wise cast away some of you are making the decision for the lord jesus christ for the first time some of you are born again you love god but you found yourself derailing and you want to mean business with god tonight it doesn't matter which of the groups i want to welcome you we're family here we love you we believe in your future and what god has to do in your life hallelujah god brought you here because he wants to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this prayer after me from the depths of your heart it's not a special number mean it from your heart say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart and i come before you tonight unable to help myself i have heard your word and this night i make jesus lord of my life forgive me my sins i receive remission of sins I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm saved I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and fill me build me make me an ambassador for the kingdom empower me to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus amen I salute you for making this great decision this is the greatest miracle that has happened in this place. Now you'll be having a word with Pastor Jakes. He's going to be meeting with you personally. He'll be following you up, please and please, as much as possible. I want you to be part of. I want you to be part of this, and make sure that you show up Wednesday by four, please. Tomorrow by four, you have a meeting with Pastor Jakes. The venue is at the chapel of redemption just the book stand close please those of you who invited them remind them and let them come hallelujah praise the lord the lord increase you the lord bless you please follow the ushers they will have your details god bless you appreciate them just follow the ushers god bless you god bless you hallelujah in a few minutes we'll be out of here this is your first time of worshiping with us in koinonia we love you we appreciate you we celebrate you we want to honor you please i'd like you to leave your seat and come out gloriously and honorably we want to pray for you god bless you please leave your seat wherever you are inside or outside if there's a new person who is sitting push the person and tell him i love you too much i love you too much hallelujah keep clapping koinonia this is not your best thank you the lord brought them for those of you who have made it a point of duty to invite people to get blessed may the lord invite your destiny help us into your life again and again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much i appreciate all of you we celebrate you the lord honor and increase you hallelujah this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international i believe you are blessed tonight you will go back with unending testimonies you will be amazed hallelujah i pray that the lord will bless you we want to pray and prophesy into your life we are anointed people 
and whatever we call you you become hallelujah praise the lord saints of god stretch your hands and speak those words you are anointed every word you speak the bible says whatsoever name adam called them that was the name they were go ahead and prophesy declare we call you blessed we bless you with a hunger for the spirit we bless you with a hunger for prayer and the word of god we pray that the lord will equip you and make you a giant in the spirit every habit every thing that does not represent christ in your life leaves you right now you return as a sign and a wonder things will begin to fall in their place in your life you will become a testimony even to yourself thank you jesus in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah thank you once again we love you we honor you please just follow the ushers they will greet you more warmly on our behalf and they'll give you a few informations god bless you please just turn back you have the ushers bless you god there has been time you know it's like in those days when um, um you want to you see a lady that you like so much uh, so you rehearse what you will tell her everything you have rehearse it and you came before her and say i love you you are the sugar in my tea you are my son and she says excuse me you start all over again <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't know. Can, can we be free this evening can we be free can we be free greet one another we we are in the presence of god please can we be free greet one another am i speaking house of <laughs> hallelujah let's celebrate let's celebrate oh jesus we thank you oh Understanding. If you understand what these songs mean, then you 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 will thanks to the Lord better. All right, Amen. Hallelujah. It's, it's an evil song that say my you know my God is. That's why when they, when I sing, you say it's like this. I can I mean, that someone that cannot be the size cannot be described. Can you describe how big God is? Hallelujah. So let's sing with understanding. Let's go again. Come on.
us and give you praise. Worship him, worship him, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. Worship the King of glory. Worship him that live forevermore. Bless them be the holy name of the Lord. We worship you all. Thank you for your arms of presence. This evening we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Thank you, mighty God. Bless the be the name of the Lord. Bless the be the name of the Lord. Bless the be the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. We worship you, King of glory. We adore you with your awesome presence. We give you praise and glory. Let's set be in our in Jesus' mighty name. A change ever God, a change ever God. A change ever God, a change ever God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, Jehovah Nisi, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, Jehovah Yahweh, unchangeable God, unchangeable God.
Just open your mouth and tell him how much you love him. Tell him I love you, Lord. You are the reason why I am here. You are the reason why I live. You are my bread. You are my oxygen. You are my bread. I love you, Lord. I cannot do it on you. I love you, Lord Jesus. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We glorify your name. We bless you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We glorify your name. Bless you, Lord. We worship you. We glorify your holy name. Oh. We worship you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Thank you for your awesome presence. Thank you for your awesome presence. We appreciate you, King of Glory. We appreciate you, King of Glory. Thank you for showing up. 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 We give you praise and glory. You are so faithful, God. You are a faithful God. You are a reliable God. You are a dependable God. You are the unchangeable one. Oh, you are the lily of the family. You are the rose of Sarah. You are the one that rose again. Oh, Jesus, I'm living forevermore. Sitting at the right time of the Father. In the sitting for the church. In the sitting for the king. In the sitting for the church. The soon coming king. Oh, the king smiled with him. The fourth man in the banner for us. You are the beautiful one. You are the ancient of days. Without you, nothing exists. Without you, nothing be. Before you is no other. You are the only one. We reverence you this evening. We reverence you tonight. Giving you praise and glory. Ancient of days. Angels bow before you. All men bow before you. That all men be liars. And let our old God be the true God. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Blessed be the holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. I say in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. I feel his presence here so much this evening. Hallelujah. If the Lord refuses to show up, nothing takes place, nothing happens. Hallelujah. Amen. You will not leave, you will leave this place a change and a better person. That amen is suffering from malaria fever. Because if you want to shout amen, shout amen as someone who is not existing, but someone who is alive. Hallelujah. And Joshua said to them, it's time to shout. We'll be keeping silent for days, going round Jericho for days, for seven days, and this day we've gone round, round Jericho seven times. We'll be keeping silent. This is a time to shout. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a shout tonight? Yeah. <laughs> tonight you look for that sickness you see it no more amen thank you father for your presence we reverence you we thank you thank you for showing up blessed be that name in jesus name we pray amen please take your seat can someone explain to me what happened to the pulpit i don't know what happened, huh? what happened? i don't know what will i do now what will I do? I need something. I need to keep it. I need something. Okay, they are coming. But I hope they are not going to uh, suffer today. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Can you please help me appreciate my wife, the only sugar in my tea? The only mosquito I'll never kill. <laughs> hallelujah. I say hallelujah. She has been a source of encouragement. Those who have visited my house will testify. It's not act of pretense. Hallelujah. Amen. By the grace of God, this December will be 10 years staying together as husband and wife. Amen. If you are jealous, go and marry your own. It's not my fault. I used to tell my wife, my brother sent something for me from US. She said, why didn't he send for, for, for her? I said, it's not my fault. If God put sugar in your mouth, you lick it. It's not my fault. And I'm saying, make certain sin against God. It's not my fault. He has decided to do it. Amen. When Apostle told me that I'll be missing today, I have decided we only come. I only come with her, and um, uh, just walk down uh, either clamp or enter Kada, enter um, a bus, and um, reach that side, climb another Kada, and come here and clean our shoe, and praise God all the same. I was just sitting in my house. They called me. They said, "Sir, I say yes. Who are you?" He said, "Apostle sent me, and he said I should come and pick you." Is it my fault? I told my children, all of you, prepare. And uh, I, I was supposing to see, uh, you know, that kind of car you manage, you know, you understand me. And when I come out, I saw, wow. And when I entered, I didn't hear the man driving say, "Please, wind down the glass." The glass was still up. The next thing I said, I said, my God, it's not my fault. Let me do It's not my fault. He has put sugar in my mouth. It's not my fault. <laughs> Hallelujah. You better begin to learn how to thank God for somebody's life. Because life is done by done. Oh, you don't believe that? Oh, you don't believe that? Your response is showing me that you don't believe it. Life is done by done. If God could remember the lepers, lepers, what, what, what are lepers? Outcasts. Outcasts in Samaria. Lepers, he remembered them. I, I told my wife when I came back, I, I, as a matter of fact, I went home to see my mother. If you are here and your parents are still alive, you better celebrate them. My father is dead, my mom is still alive. Celebrate them all. Because, listen, no matter how. Uh, the, the, the leg of your mother is no matter how crooked the leg is no matter, there are people some of us who are in, in, in school like uh ap is okay it's all right go to university in the east every female is algebra you know no wash blades no wash clothes because of the manicure and pedicure you know they came out and boast what they ate last night or this morning i just took indomie macaroni you know I don't have time for apple and gary and that day god decided to punish her as she was saying she took indomie and the macaroni and all the things like that she did like this all oh, they said what is happening he said i don't know my stomach is turning me i don't know before we know it she for me tell lumps of apple they say sister what is it? she said i don't know what is this so i don't know can someone explain to me where did it come from tell me where the apple came from are they still bringing the pulpit or should I? Are they bringing something? If not, I will sit down. Are they bringing something? They are. All right. Amen. When I came in, I said, Did Apostle travel with the whole choir? Did he travel with the whole choir? Eh? Now, wow. Why is it that is it today they decide to, to do it? Eh? At least if I come back, I will see people, I will be encouraged. Nobody standing by me. I don't know. Hallelujah. Praise God. Something is coming. Oh, thank you. Let's appreciate the Lord. Amen. Is it that this, this one that made it to fall? Okay. Thank God for this pulpit. It's not a type that you'll be preaching, you'll be doing like this. Are you seeing me? This is a blessed one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you in the house this evening? Oh, is God doing something already in your life? 
I don't. I want you to always respond to me so that uh, I will know that you are understanding me. No, God, love, respond. The Lord said to Jeremiah, "What do you see?" Jeremiah didn't say, hum, hum, hum. "What did you see? What are you seeing? What do you see?" Jeremiah explained. God said, "You see well. You see well." You know, sometimes when when the language becomes hum, 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 there's a problem. One of my relatives. A, long, a young lady, beautiful lady, good looking, you know. I went to visit them in, in Abuja. I, I do visit them. But well, this very day, I went to visit them. And um, I didn't see her at home in the evening. Six o'clock, she wasn't back. Seven, she wasn't back. Eight, nine. Where is the mother? Where has she gone to? She said, hum, hum, I don't know. Hum, hum, That's okay. Eleven o'clock, I said, what happened? Is she sleeping outside? She said, hum, hum, hum. no problem. I went to bed. In the morning, I woke up. I said, ah, she didn't come back last night. Is she coming to uh, back this morning? She said, hum, hum, hum. I said, no problem. I, I came back to Zaria. Um, I, don't, I can't remember what I, I called her or something. Then the next thing I heard that she was dead. <clears throat> because when she, she began to live um, a secret life and uh, live in sin, she got sickness, she got sick and she died so i want you to respond to me don't make me hum, 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 hum. just respond to me hallelujah praise god you better be happy for me oh you better be happy be happy i, I wish i can invite everyone of us to my house i wish but I, I believe god god will help me one day we'll do it even if it's pure water i buy um one on truck of pure water we come and drink and celebrate hallelujah will you bless me if you drink your pure water you will love me so sure you love me you know love is proven when things are difficult love is not proven when things are going easy hallelujah tonight we'll be looking at something very common something things that we do every day and um but tonight we're going to look at it with understanding somebody say understanding now, how many of you know that when you do things with understanding when you do things with revelation, you have a speed answer. When you give your tithes and offering, pay your tithes and offering with revelation, with light, with understanding, it brings an open door. The things we do every day. Very simple. But now we're going to look at it with the eyes of understanding common things that bring uncommon blessings hallelujah am i talking to people common things common that brings uncommon blessing the things with time common what bring quarrel between husband and wife is always smutting you see them fighting and smutting well today is not marriage seminar Almost everyone here is a bachelor. If you're married, can I see your hand? You're married, one, two. All right, actually, I have support. I have two people here. Can you appreciate them? <laughs> Forget about what people, the world is saying today that those who are married are seeking way out. If you marry with understanding, there will not be way out. My mother told me something when I got married, when we wedded. So many people prepare for wedding. They don't prepare for marriage. Spending a lot, going here and there, preparing for wedding. But little for marriage. That is why after the wedding, the marriage crash. Prepare for your marriage. Prepare for your marriage. Hallelujah. My mom told me sometime about nine years ago. She said that her marriage, you know, that then when um, uh, my wife was still, she is still, okay, you know, that time everything was still standing. And um, don't laugh too much. It was still janjaram. You know, in the morning you can come out and dance, no, no shaking without wearing anything no shaking i thought i was really enjoying the whole thing and um, I, I i was and my mom told me that her marriage is sweeter than mine i said 
at, at this age? She said yes. She didn't go on to explain. Now we are almost 10. I've come to understand that the older, the sweeter. The older, the sweeter. Let no one deceive you so that you'll be afraid of marriage. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. It's a blessing. It's from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's from who? It's from the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Common things that brings on common blessing. Common things that we do every day. Now let, let, let's go to the book of Philippians chapter 4 quickly. Thank you Jesus. Philippians chapter 4. I read from New King James verse 8. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. He said, Finally brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good reports, mark the word, good reports, if there be any virtue, and if there is any uh, praiseworthy, meditate on these things. King James said, think. Think. Things of good reports. He said, think. Meditate. Reason, understand it. Because what we are, what we are about to look, there are things that are good. The Bible said, when God made the earth, He made this and that. The Bible said, and He looked and saw that it was good. He looked and saw this is good. He continued His work. The things we look down upon, but we live with it every day. But tonight, God will give us understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going, to, we're going to look at it with revelation, with insight, with light. Understanding, revelation, light of the world. When light shines, darkness disappears. You truly understand what it means. And you will go into it. And you increase. This is good. The Bible says, whosoever that finds their wife found it was a good thing. Good. Because that you are into this is good. It's a good thing. I give myself into it. This is good. These things will bring a blessing and make me a blessing. So I'll be a blessing to people. This is good. Why? Because you are doing it with revelation. You are doing it with understanding. With light. Not as others do. The Bible said Jesus, when they were walking, Jesus, they were telling Jesus about uh, how they kill a man that was good. They said, who was that? Jesus said, they said to Jesus, oh, wow, are you a stranger? When he gave them bread, the Bible said their eyes was open. And they saw and they knew this was the Lord. This is the Lord. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. With light. Ephesians chapter 1. Quickly. I'm going to do some readings. Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 18. Ephesians 1 18 said, The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Another translation says, Being flooded with light. The eyes of your understanding being flooded with light that you may know. That means when the light comes, you will know. When the light, when understanding comes, you will know. When your eyes is being opened, then you will know. Then you will not play with that which you have known. I've come to realize, I've come to know. 
by the reason of staying in marriage I, I have come to understand what my mother said years ago hallelujah I say hallelujah chapter 4 the same Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17 4 verse 17 So he said this i this i said therefore and testify in the lord that you should no longer walk as the rest of the gentiles walk in the futility of their mind having their understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god because of the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their hearts void of light absence of light it's darkness ignorance and people will die because they don't know when you will know you will leave when you come to realize then you will leave i know the bible says i know that my redeemer liveth i know but the reason of my relationship with him partnering with him i've come to know that my redeemer lives that even though he slay me i will trust in him for i know hallelujah number one thing common things that we neglect so much we don't regard it but it's our everyday life the time has come and now is that every believer will have what is called a godly character inside the church at home anywhere Now we can say this is a child of God. Number one, very common greeting. Simple. I say we're going to look at it with understanding. Common things that bring uncommon blessing. Number one, greeting, just greeting, salutation. I will have bought your attitude. Greeting. How do you relate with people? How do you greet people? Your colleagues, your friends, your roommates, your classmates. Your seniors, your younger ones. At home, the family, outside simple greeting it's so simple isn't it how can greeting bring uh a, a uncommon blessing i will show you from today i know you know them but from today you begin to do it with understanding you do it with revelation genesis 18 Genesis 18, verse 1. Then the Lord appeared to him by the uh, ter terabit tree of Mamre, as he was sitting in the, in the tent door in the heat of the, of the day. So he lifted his eyes, talking about Abraham, lifted, lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, three men were standing by him. And when he saw them, he ran from the tent door to meet them and bowed himself to the ground. <laughs> At the heat of the day. Imagine when the sun is so hot. He saw men, he saw three men. Greetings. I bring you salutation. I salute you. I greet you doing it not for not not with eye service but from the depth of your heart little did he know that this encounter will bring about isaac he saw them he ran and fall to the ground and greeted them simple greeting 
a young boy got himself employed by the way he greets he passes by and see one old man and greets him the man said oh my boy how are you that was how he keep greeting him until one day the old man called him back on him and said come what do you do for a living he said that he had just finished finish school i'm still looking for a job he said right now you have you have a job already why because he greets so many times we neglect it it becomes too spiritual that we that we neglect the natural things that are common greeting from your heart because you know it will bring a blessing to you it will bring an open door for you you know there are people when you greet them they answer you through the nose Even the greeting, as they open their door and saw you first, they go back. Blood of Jesus. I don't want to see this man first. They just go back. I say, I've not woken up. In Jesus' name, you close the door. You've woken up already. You don't choose those that you will greet. You don't choose those that you will salute. You do it because you're a child of God. You do it with understanding. We saw what Abraham did. He ran and saluted them. He said, please come in. Listen, God is the only one who knows how to reward you. All the efforts, all the sacrifice, all the price you've been paying, God is the only one that can calculate it. I said, this is the world. Therefore, I reward you. Greetings. Don't take it for granted. Anywhere you go. But whatever you do, no matter how you are, you are pressed, no matter the pressure that is upon you. You know, there are people who don't greet when they're angry. I'm angry right now. Just leave me. I'm angry right now. Bible says at the heat of the day, as old as Abraham was, do you think those three men who are looking older than Abraham, they were looking younger? They were looking younger than him. Visitation from heaven. I pray that you will not miss your day of visitation in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said, come and come please. Wash your legs, wash your hands. Then he offered them food. And they said, go call your wife. After everything, he said, by this time, according to the season of life, we are returning. Why? Because this man knows how to greet people. Now, do you know that anyone who greets you well, even though that you know that what is in your pocket is 15 naira, because person greets you well, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't mind to give and trek. Why? Because this person respects me so much. You, you wouldn't want to leave that place without blessing such one. Ah, that lady. No, 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 no. That lady is respectful. Why? Because she greets. Do you know why? Because you don't know who will help you tomorrow. One of our neighbor, whenever she's greeting, a young lady, some of them behave as if they don't go to toilets. They are so some, some. They behave. No, 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 no. And I say, hey, you, do you used to go to toilets? You? Are you sure? He just pass you and give you a wave of greeting. Good morning. What is that? What is that? Is that greeting? Do it well. Your greeting can turn someone's life, can cause someone to be happy for, for the rest of the day. Just the way you greet. The person is coming out of, you know, maybe his boss or her boss quarreled her with coming out of that heat, just stumbling to you. He said, Good afternoon, man. You look good today. She said to herself, Nobody has ever told me this before. You mean I do? Can you imagine if you just pass. You pass and sat down, and she's the one that you'll come and meet later. You came back. I said, Yes. Why not the one I passed on the staircase? Say to me, leave, leave, leave my office. 
And imagine after that such greeting, you sat down and you met the same person. Are you not the one who just greeted me just now? When you say my God, please come in. Please come in. Just the way you respond. I tell people when you wake up in the morning, don't start by binding Satan. No. Don't have, any, don't have anything to do with Satan. You wake up in the morning, fire, fire, rose, die. In the morning, early morning, around 5 a.m. <laughs> one of my pastor friends said to me, he said one, one night he, was, he, he woke up early morning. What woke, 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 woke him up was he, he was hearing prayer. He was hearing roast, roast, roast. He said, he listened, he thought they were saying rose, rose. I said, who are they calling Rose this morning? Where has she gone to? Then he listened. He was hearing. He said, ah, it's not Rose, though. Roast, roast. What are they roasting? <laughs> this early morning. But if someone is roasting some, must the person be saying it? Roast, roast, roast. <laughs> no, that is why it is called koinonia. Fellowship. Intimacy. Hallelujah. You wake up in the morning, you tell God, good morning, sir. Daddy, I know today is a nice day. Ah, the beautiful one. The one who, you know, the Bible said that Satan was perfect in beauty. But remember, someone made him. Mm. The one who made one who is perfect in beauty. How beautiful are thou? Eh. Hallelujah. You greet him well. The fourth man in the burning furnace. The rose of Sharon. The unchangeable one. I had oppression some about two years ago. You know. This year, yeah, appendix. And I told my wife we're going for uh, oppression. And um, when he started disturbing me, I'll be working with you. All of a sudden to hook me. I will stop. You know, I'll start change the topic. Uh, you keep wondering why is he standing? Don't worry. Have you seen the writing of this thing? How lovely it is. You wonder what does our talk have to do with this? Not knowing that thing hooked me. After some time to lease me, I'll move. I prayed, I said, Lord, um, you have to heal me. Uh, I don't want to go through this oppression stuff. He said, no. There's something I want to show you. When you go into the theater with understanding, you will see what others don't see. Someone is not getting me here. You do it with the revelation. You think it's only love. You marry because you love her. A time will come you don't feel like loving again. You look at her, you say to your mind, are you sure saying that? No, this woman married? <laughs> because your first few weeks of marriage, you will feel that you have made a mistake. Because at that time, you are trying to fit to each other. All this, hello, you come, you greet, you embrace, da da la da da la <laughs> You ping me, she ping you, everybody ping ping. <laughs> you go home, you go home, you want to sleep. Hello, I just want to tell you that I'm at home now. Are you at home? Are you in the hostel now? All right. Just want to tell you that I love you and uh, miss you. You just saw her. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow. You know, it's all right. It's okay. When she has make up, make down, put all the foundation, call it foundation, first foundation, second foundation, third foundation, all the wrinkles are being covered. I said, My God, this is angel. Don't worry. You will marry her. That night, she will wash all the foundation. <laughs> you will wake up in the morning. Wake, you wake up. It's definitely, you, you, you want to wake up before her. After you have embraced each other, your legs. You wake up in the morning before her. You saw her mother like this. You see something here? 
all the spirit has gone like this. Give her mark. You say to yourself, no, she's not the one. Who. Sisters, keep yourself well. Take care of your body. Every part of your body, keep it well. It's for your husband. Keep it well. Well, everything well. If you know there, let him know you know there. Don't pretend. Don't pretend. Some. <laughs> All right. So I went to the theater with understanding with this mindset that God said, I'm going to show you something. I want you to understand. Remember that day someone drove us, went to the hospital. We were upstairs and uh, we saw the surgeon coming. And I saw him carry one small polythene bag. And I told my wife, you see what that man is carrying in that polythene bag? Everything will enter my body. And I see the man had me. Nearly he entered. He said, Pastor, you see, you see this thing? Everything here, it will enter your body. <laughs> I look at my wife. I told you. I went to the theater. He said, remove your clothes. They bring one green clothes. You know, like um, night, night gown. I want to wear it like this. They say, no, not like that. Wear it like this. <laughs> I wore it. I lay down. Remove the hair here. And um, they say, ready. I said, daughter, I'm hungry. He said, don't worry. We'll give you food now. They gave, put me drip. Ah, I got strength. Then there was a knock. The man said, doctor said, who, who is that? Uh, you, you have two hair. Come in. It was my wife. I didn't, I, I can't remember when I heard what she said. Because my mind was, what did God say you want to show me? That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. I don't want to talk to anybody. Just go and sit down, wait for me, I'm coming out. And then they, they bring the anesthesia. One nose on my head. One nose on the other side. With this here, fry, fry three. Stainless. The surgeon here. He came out. I look at him. I didn't know him again. Covered everywhere. Okay, doctor, is you. The light on my head. Gradually, I was looking. I said, "Today, not today." As it was pressing, the light was getting brighter, brighter. I said, "This now the voltage is too much, or the bulb will burst." All of a sudden, the light went off. Pium! Listen, if you don't believe that there is life after this light, begin to believe it. Well, believe it, believe it, believe it. And as it happened, I went, entered into a tunnel. I tried to remember where I was before I entered. I couldn't remember. That's all right. Okay. Leave that one. Where is this place? I tried to remember where is this place. I can't, I don't know. That's all right. Where am I going? All these three answers, I couldn't answer them. But I was in a tunnel. I was going a speed, a speed that cannot be calculated up down sideways fast i was hearing voices but hearing them in reverse imagine someone talking to you in reverse why owe you is you so if call it in reverse so what does it mean so i came out of that tunnel i just saw myself came out of that tunnel stood on my feet I look at the place I saw I say finally I don't make heaven finally I saw the grass there's no word that would describe it I saw animals grazing I saw mountains then I look closely and I saw a man who squat down I was behind him I said, who is this man? What I'm talking about is, is because of what I say. We wake, when you wake up in the morning, tell him how beautiful he is. I said, who is this man? He backed me. I was like this. He bent down. He was doing something. I don't know. And then he now turned and looked at me. When he turned and looked at me, behold, that's the king of kings and the lord of lords. When he turned and looked at me, I saw the glory on his face. Little did I know they have even finished the operation and brought me into the, into the world. Uh, when I saw him, the beauty and the glory on his face radiating, I couldn't help it. The only way I, the only thing I could do was to cry. Tears was rolling down my, my cheek. The glory. And the doctor said, ah, the pain. I had the doctor. 
And I had the doctor. And I replied to him, No, no pain. I'm seeing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Tell him how beautiful he is in the morning. Greet him well. Salute him. A prophet in my place said, The one that is in heaven, but his clothes is, is floating. The gown is floating on, 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 upon the earth. Have you seen women wear dinner gown? Not wedding gown, dinner gown. As they are walking, it's floating. If you don't have a car, God help you. They're going to pack all the granite and all the sugar cane. Or you keep your hand like this all the days of that day you're wearing it. Have you ever seen them? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Greet him. Greet him. And when you come, when you come out, either in the school or in the come by anywhere, I should be, see people greet them, smile at them. I call a sister in, in, in Lagos one time, about two, three weeks ago, and, and I made her laugh. She said, Pastor, since today, I've not laughed. You've made me laugh today in the whole song of Lagos. I said, make sure you keep smile on that beautiful face. Do you know what? Because you don't know who is watching. You don't know who is watching. Amen. The day I met my wife, she was not frowning face. I went to the church and I saw her. I knew. <laughs> Hallelujah. So it takes understanding. This is my wife. You wake up in the morning, you see those mark of Ijabode and everywhere crossing there. He said, This is my wife. He said, How lovely you look with all this. Without makeup, you look better. No, it's not like you're not trying to pretend. You're not telling her what she's not. You can use your tongue and clean it. Oh. understanding you do it with understanding it brings an open door Abraham invited them he brought an open door Isaac came why? because, Isaac, because Abraham the father knew how to greet and to do it well not just doing, doing it well don't just greet people with half greeting Guno, what is Guno? What is going on? Complete greeting. Hallelujah. Now, do you know that if you have goods, selling goods, customer comes, the way you greet them, they even buy more than they begin. Ah, sir, you're welcome, sir. My God, you're welcome. You're welcome. Can you bless me? Please come in. Please come in, sir. Come in, sir. Even if the boy is like this, answer him, sir. You know what you're looking for. Let him enter first. Okay, this one will be good for you. I knew it right from today. I knew I would meet someone like you. I know I will meet someone like you. Greet people well. Salute. Hallelujah. Number two, because of our time, respect. You know them. Respect. You respect people not because of what they are, but because of who they are. Because you don't know who is who. The day I met Al Babelo, a rich man here, the day I met him, I never knew he was the one. Then I told me, You see that man? Hey, this man, are you sure? He said, He's the one. Hallelujah. Respect people. Respect people. So respect starts with you respecting yourself. Because if you don't respect yourself, you will respect others. When a man, when a man has sold his respect to a young lady, even in the mix of his friends, the girl will come and insult him. You don't come here again. You know that something has happened. He has sold his respect. He has sold his birthright. The girl can even come and remove his cap and beat him. This your hair self, you know they're here. Check well, he has sold his respect. 
in a house where the owner of the house, the, the house where does not respect the man, the man has sold his respect. He has done what he's not supposed to do. And that's why the girl will never respect him. Respect yourself. You know who you are. You respect people. Male or female. No matter who they are, no matter what they possess, respect them. Because you don't know who is watching you. Ah, that sister, you want to marry her? My God, that's a good sister. So that sister, the lady I told you, she doesn't respect people. Just throw greetings. You see, in the morning she will see her, just throw, just take greeting and throw it to you. Me and my credit and throw it back to her. So one day she was in need. Her parents wasn't around. Then it was only my wife that she needed to go and ask. I said, what, what did she do? He said, ah, you could see that day, the way she came and greeted me. Eh? So she know how to do it. Good afternoon, ma. Everything, ma. Eh? This is what you would have done since. Do you, know, do you know that when you respect people and tell and ask them, how are you today? How is your family? That it is well with you. It is well with you. The way of us will greet you. You feel like staying with you. Let him continue the greeting. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Respect. When you look at the book of Matthew, can we go quickly? Matthew chapter 19, verse 22. Matthew 19, 22. 20 Matthew 19 verse 20 to 22 talking about the rich man does not have respect for the poor doesn't have respect for the poor because he has got himself so much wealth he doesn't have respect for the poor so just write it down we'll go to the next one all right the ne next one the third one which is which is patience patience the ability to wait when others are moving patience it's a virtue. Everything in the world today has become instant. Instant food, instant noodle, instant milk, instant everything instant. Instant marriage, instant ministry, instant school. It has become instant. Instant baby. Instant. It doesn't last. It doesn't last. Anything that will last us that will stand the taste of time. You must go through the process. I saw a man in my in my in my vision. I've seen him, I've seen him several times. Each time I saw him, I know that this is the man I've seen him before. He told me, I saw men jumping processes. He told me, he said, Do you see them? I said, Yes, sir. He said, Don't jump it, go through them. It may be hard, but these are the ways that our fathers has gone through. He said, if you go through the waters, if you go through the fire, go through it. Be patient with me. Sometimes you want to pray, pray, and answer the prayer. How can you pray, pray, and answer, your, answer the prayer again? Because you want it sharp, sharp. You are wasting time. You have what the world is looking for. Sharp, sharp. Let's start. No, be patient. Be patient. Take it easy. Apply break. You are too fast. Hurry you for this, hurry you for that. No, tell him, take it easy. I remember what my wife told me sometime when we were, when we were cutting, we found left Lagos. He said, please, it's better for you to go to the north. Let me not allow the love I have for you shadow my reasoning. I said, eh? my wife, I've never had it before. Because you are in love does not mean you are foolish. He said, love is blind. If your own is blind, my own is seen koro koro very well. <laughs> Because if your own is blind, one day it will, your, the blindness will go. You will see it well, just as it is. You will not say, my God, is it what I have caused by myself? It's not blind, it sees. Do you see? Are you like what you see? So you're not regret tomorrow. Patience! Patience. When I saw her and I knew that she was my wife, I told my pastor, I love this lady and I knew this is my wife. He said, don't talk to her. Do you have a pastor? I know if you have a pastor. And you listen to your pastor. He said, don't talk to her. For nine months, ask her. I didn't talk to her. He said, don't, it's not your time. When it's time, I will tell you. Patience. 
how many years was david when he was when he was anointed king and how many years did it take him to climb the throne patience you must possess this virtue and be patient when i came back from the village i told my wife something wonders has happened my village my village we don't have toilet we have latrine there's a difference between toilet and latrine this latrine we have men for men we have for women and for men no matter how old you are you're a man you you go there once you go there everybody lie down with wood you bend down even if your father is there you bend down and the women have their own and nta came to my village the only place they saw to video was a latrine <laughs> I, I said, ah, that's all. <laughs> we saw your village where latrine But I went home last, I just came back last week. My God, listen, listen. Whatsoever God has promised you, be patient with Him. It will reach you. It will reach you. I've never prayed for offering here. Eh? Have I prayed for offering here? If not, it's okay. Pastor ran out the prayer. That's the only time I touch the microphone. But see him now. Be patient. Ah, no, 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 be patient. You see, time might fl fly. The, 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 the little frog will be jumping. The mother will say, Sit down. Allow it to fly. Relax. Relax. Mm -hmm. Until it becomes weak to fall. The mother will say, Go for it. I went to the village. Hey. Yeah. I saw express road pass my village. Express road. Wouldn't you clap for Jesus? <laughs> eh? The village that is known by Latin. Now, express road. Very close to my village. Just about a few minutes drive. They are building a place where a helicopter will fall. A helicopter will land. Eh? Whoever know that the federal government, because it, in the map of Nigeria, you will not find my village. It's so small. I used to tell my wife, my village is a garden of Eden. Even to say a red liquor of garden of Eden. Come, let's go. Free of pollution. Free of light. We use natural resources. You hear the, you will truly hear the song of the birds singing and praising Jehovah God. You will know what, what Adam saw in the garden. Come, let's go to my village. Hallelujah. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. You just got admission. It, it, that five years, that four years, that six years, it's like eternity. Be patient. A time will come, you stand here and testify. There was a time I came here and now I'm, I've graduated. Some has come and gone. Be patient. Be patient. That thing you are looking for, that thing you want to eat, be patient. I want to marry, I want to marry my body. Shake my don't worry, don't worry. You go marry, they will give you say, I'm tired. Be patient, it will reach you. And listen, not only that it will reach you, it will reach you well. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, since I married my wife, this is the first time she started walking. Let's appreciate her. You all started walking. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.